okay in the previous meeting we wrote a code to be able to interpolate the value of electric potential for each arbitrary point in the solution domain so now we are ready to calculate this integral and do error analysis actually in this equation the value of ue is analytic answer actually you can see it here represents the exact analytic solution at a specific grid point and uin represents the numerical solution at the same point so uh, when we want to calculate this error we should have a fine mesh so i wrote this code to do error analysis here are our inputs and here i calculate the analytic solution for a hundred by hundred grid right so here i generate a mesh and i calculate the analytic solution for this fine grid so here is the exact solution then i should refine the mesh step by step and solve the equation for each mesh size to be able to calculate the error here i have two empty vectors h is the mesh size and err is error for each mesh size actually i am going to generate this graph right the l2 norm error versus the mesh size as you can see here when we reduce the mesh size we can reduce the l2 norm error so here I set the value of nx and ny from 5 to 50 and here the step is 5 and generate mesh solve the problem using finite element method and finally here I can calculate the error using this syntax right the same as this one this equation so and in each iteration i store the value of step size right and for comparison i should uh, calculate the error for a fine mesh size and dimensions of the interpolated values should be the same as analytic equation so i used this function that we wrote in our previous part right so here if i run this code you can see we are able to generate this graph right the x-axis shows the mesh size and the y-axis is l2 norm error so as you can see here when we reduce the mesh size we can reduce the l2 norm error and for calculation of this error we should be able to interpolate the value of voltage on each arbitrary point also i will share this err to the m file with you you can check and let me know if you have any questions